You're back. That creep hasn't tried anything funny, right, Haru? Oh, okay, thank you for asking. Father did say he's rescind the marriage offer as well. I'm a bit worried though, there's still some time before the deadline. If anything happens, be sure to let us know. Thanks, I will gladly rely on all of you. There's also the matter of the mental shutdowns. I hope no danger comes to Haru. I guess Haru's dad did say that he was just making requests. Has nobody thought about the fact that, you know, we sent a calling card to a man which our enemy knows about the calling card and nobody thought that, you know, oh shit, the true culprit is still out there triggering mental shutdowns in exchange for money. We gotta watch, uh, catch whoever it is. Any idea who could be a culprit? The black masked person, obviously, that we heard about. They're definitely the most likely perpetrator. Either way, I'm sure we'll learn more once Haru's father speaks about up about it. We just gotta wait for his change of heart. Utaba's right. We don't have any intel now, so there's nothing we can do. Let's wait for Okumura's change of heart, then pursue the truth behind the mental shutdowns. I should write something. Well... You see, that's a... That's a... Small problem. Small problem with that. Small... Small issue. We have a small issue. What the fuck? Where... Where is everyone? No one? Oh, here we have Yoshida. Wait. Let's do it. Wait. Oh yeah, it's this guy. <laughs> I forgot who Yoshida was. This is alright. But it's not really good. Mm. I should write something. Oh, Yoshida is the only one? Really? Aww. Oh, <laughs> she wants me to earn money. I see. Uh, I can just inform the cross I have something special after the speech. Well, I don't know if I went to the... Did I go to her? Have do? I done affinity reading? Then, oh yeah, I what did. Okay, well, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go clean some shit. Okay. Two of these. Oh. Wait, no. There. I, I almost forgot that this was this. Here we go. It's too show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, not Central Street. I am. Um, whatever. I just go back. Yoshida. Hello. Everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good evening. Hello. Stamina is important to public speak. Yeah, yeah. I have something scheduled after my speech, and I need you to come with me. We we'll be meeting someone after this at the sushi restaurant. I appreciate your help. However, the government's overall approval rating is dangerously low. Yes. I'll be sure to proceed with caution, considering that the grandson of my former teacher is showing me such kindness. As well, I'd like to discuss a personal matter. Allow me to be frank. I will be running for my grandfather's seat in the upcoming selection. I see. Congratulations. I held a low-level position in party's executive office, but I'm new to candidacy. So I was hoping you could educate me on how to run an election campaign. However, While I was planning on running myself and I don't believe that I'm qualified to teach you. I've heard that you've been working harder than anyone these past 20 years. While I have a lot of free time after I lost the election study. Election. S study is all an amateur can do. Amateur, you're a veteran if anything. Besides you have experience teaching him, right? Your reputation has greatly improved around the executive office recently. 
And my grandfather has expressed his intent on making peace with you now. Hmm. I'd be happy to bury the hatchet with Mr. Ka Kuramoto, but I'm not worthy to join his group again. I thought you would find these conditions favorable. So I asked you to keep that. I'm about to tell you a secret. You. Sorry, could you give us a moment? No, oh, I'd like your favorite people to hear this too. Hmm? Wait a moment, is your plan to involve him so that I can't decline? I simply trust his discretion. Uh, the Kuramoto group is planning to move forward with a political realignment. Are you say saying that you're going to reco res uh, to se secede from the Liberal Co Prosperity Party? With the government in a weakened state, now is our chance. Such I want to emphasize our unity. I see. And so if you come to me, a former member of the Kuramoto children, but my views differ from those of the Kuramoto group, and I don't intend on changing them. I understand. However, you won't be able to put th those beliefs into action if you don't get elected. Could you talk some sense with him? You'll benefit as well. You should decide. Or mm. You think so too. You're not you're not intimidated even by the grandson of a big time death member. I appreciate you for but I must respectfully decline. So you're okay with being a no good Tora forever. Call him Mr. Yoshida. Anders. Looks like those with uh, those, uh, you chose the wrong politician to follow. I still believe in him. Try to understand that he's, he has his own beliefs. My apologies, I made a slip of the tongue and in front of your secretary, no less. I'm not a secretary. I don't need an answer right away. If you want to show the deference to my grandfather, let me know. I already took care of the bill, so enjoy if you, now if you'll excuse me. What's the point in getting elected if it means sacrificing your beliefs? I bet when push comes to shove, Kuramoto's intended to lure you in. He probably didn't expect me to remain so calm after he showed his trump card. I feel surprisingly at ease whenever you're with me, like that time with Master Shita. I apologize. I'm truly indebted to you for all you've done for me, but I must ask that you continue to help me. Sure. Pow. Okay. All right. You know, from the way he was acting, I'd swear Kuramoto was hiding yes, something. We oh my god, we're alone, al done anything, so let's go. My charm. Well, that's. That's maxed. Well, then, I'll see you again. Hello? Hi! There you go. Little Devil Undershirt, old Gilly West. See you later. Hello? Anderson, thank you so much. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. I just got out of that meet I was talking to you about, and my routine was the best I've ever given so far. So I just wanted to thank you for that. I didn't do anything. It was all you. You're the reason I've come so far. You helped me so much, even with the mundane things. I just can't thank you enough. I didn't do shit, bro. Please, I just want to thank you again. As soon as I get the results, I'll let you know. So I'll be messaging you again sometime soon. Now I'd better get going, have a good night. I didn't do shit! I didn't do anything. I didn't do squat. Come on now. Don't give me credit where I don't deserve credit. Good morning. Good morning. The palace is gone, so I guess we're waiting for a while. What do you guys do at a time like this? Take a break. I see. I suppose, I suppose it'll do, to, do us good to take it easy every now and then. Still don't go overboard, you can't forget your primary duties as a high schooler. His supporters play the part of a Dillinger student, right? Dun, dun, dun. I, I don't think there's any way I'm making it to the deadline, by the way. Today. Any plans after school? Have you any plans after school? You'll be free. Side later. Let's see here. Maruki goes up, Yusuke goes up. I have not unlocked Gamer King. Futaba is not available. Fuck me. Okay, well, I'll do Maruki then. Welcome. Good work today. Expect a little less hot, huh? I've been planning a little. Uh, well, I should ask you: Are you free today? Yes. Oh, great. So I'll come in and make yourself at home. I don't trust you, though. Still. 
Today's just going to be another back and forth as usual, or will it? Today's your lucky day. Please take a look at what's on this table. I've been making you, uh, you listen all to all this tough stuff about trauma, pain and grief lately, so... I found these cookies in the underground mall. Now we can have a little break. They're kind of fancy cookies too. I thought I'd get a surprise for you since uh, you've been kind enough to indulge me at all in all this time. Go ahead and enjoy. Thank you. Wish I have got enough for seconds too. Thank you. Oh, oh no, yes. as long as we're talking about cookies, they actually reminded me about a psychological experience. <laughs> the scientists prepared two containers and put the same cookies in both of them. In one container they put one only, only one cookie, but the other one was filled with cookies, ten of them. So then when, then they had their subjects try cookies from each container and asked how their ta taste compared. Which container cookies were marked as tasting better? The one with one cookie, obviously. Right. Easy to guess, huh? There's something called the law of scarcity. It's about when you imagine from the name people are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law in action just by observing how excited people get over limited edition merchandise. We're getting played. In some cases, sure, but don't you think it's intriguing as well? In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our cognition. Not only that, the effect, of sp the effect spreads to our senses and creates a sub subjective observable difference in our reality. Basically, your perceptions can be changed by your cognition or preconceptions. <laughs> it's all below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. I incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea that your unconscious side may change the taste of the cookie? As long as it tastes good. That's definitely not the usual response, but it's the one I can understand. Dude, like, even, like, sure, maybe my brain is tricking me. But, hey, it's tricking me in a good way, because it's tricking me to make it f taste better. It's probably such an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me. Maybe the human heart can falter or be unreliable sometimes, but it, if this experiment proves anything, it's that even simple preconception can be enough to bring someone more joy. Exactly. Example. Take the story I just told you. What if you'd eaten that one cookie and it had been the best cookie of your life? Say I never revealed that trick behind it. The cookie would have reminded more deli uh, remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a sub subjective truth to your reality. Well, even if you reveal it, I've already eaten the cookie and the cookie is gone now. So even if you do reveal it to me, then it's fine. The cookie would remain... Not truth. Well, point taken. I can see why you do say that. Basically what I wanted to say was... If this idea of preconception could should could be studied further and actually applied to treating people, I feel like it could help a lot of people, maybe even more than I could help through counseling. Then again, it relies so heavily on receptive, some people might call it a lie or see it as running from the problems. Still, even if that's true, I still believe that method could save a lot of people. I could it help? I could sorry. help. Wait, I'm so sorry, I wound up getting into academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. Whenever I'm talking to you, whenever, somehow I always end up going back to my research. Dude, that's fine. That's why I'm here. Truly, I'm grateful for everything you've done, so not because I can get your opinion on these things either. More like it's as if I'm talking to my old friend. <laughs> but maybe that's too personal. After all, this is all the sacred of our deal, right? So we say, anyway. Do I get anything? Oh yeah, I get mindfulness. That one is... Right. That one is... That one is good. Because I realized that I actually run low on SP now. I'd better show you another way to mentally train yourself. What I'm going to teach you is... All right. Better time for snack, right? Don't not worry. Well, Don't... Do not worry. Nah. Make sure you get home before it gets too dark, okay? Oi. Whoops, wait. Oh, this is Maruki, sorry about earlier. It was supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another big academic discussion. I don't really mind. You're always so kind, you might be a better counselor than I am. But like this, I get so hyper focused on my research, I don't notice anything else. Like, back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. Here goes the rambling again, sorry. Alright, let's see you again. Ah, 
You're back. Yo. Another box cam. Oh, the box cam. Hey. Oh yeah, wait, oh. the armor. Oh wait. Um Old Gilly West. It's gonna be an upgrade slightly here. And Well this is good. Wouldn't it be best if Ann had that? I think she uses the most SP of them, after all. What's your plan? I was hoping we could play a match, will you join me? Do I have a star? How did I think about it? I don't have a star. For fuck's sake, bro. I don't have a devil, I don't have a star. I hate going outside. Oh, she's not here because it's raining. Oh, my lord. <laughs> It wasn't raining earlier today. Um, well, I do need to go get a star or a... Hey, it was a Sudame I need, right? Oh, I can get the... That's nice. I can get a star. Will this select the skills you'd like to inhibit? It will receive now for a replay. Doesn't matter. Okay, got a star. Will this truly help you? Uh huh. Not terrible, but not impressive. You chain done already? What? Go back. Time, inmate. And we'll go over to Hifume. Hello there. My thinking gets sharper on rainy days. The sound of raindrops increase my focus. We have some time. I'd like to request a match with you. Yeah. Thank you very Thank you. much. Check. You've been defeated. The best is my ultimate Togo kingdom is complete. My pieces have been taken. If you have left me utterly defeated. But to think you could stay standing after being struck by my silver infinite sword. You've improved, considering that you endured the climbing silver so early in the match. The determination I'm sensing from you is a real inspiration. I must think of a new move. I'm afraid you'll surpass me one day if I don't stay sharp. Nah, ain't no way I'm that smart. Actually. This exhibition match against the pro my mother was talking about has been confirmed. He's a very famous shogi player. I'm aiming to be the first woman to reach pro ranking league. I'm sure it will draw a lot of attention, especially after the article. However, I don't intend to lose. This is my chance to display my true skills. I think she's just gonna lose though. I confess I'm a bit scared though. That's almost a relief. I apologize if I gave you the impression I was above such nervousness. I hope I've not come, become unreliable and consider I'm your teacher. To be honest, I'm not sure how well my skills will hold up against a true professional. Right. I'm sick of being treated like an idol. I have to show them what I'm made of. I believe in you. So um, there's a move I want to try out. Would you like to play another match? Sure. Thank you very much. Strategically place your pieces in the enemy zone to increase your chance of getting gold. Be sure to use that tactic in your next match for today. Try and steal the pieces you want from me. Hmm. Earn double money if a battle is won in one turn after a successful ambush. Hmm. 
Does that count for green enemies in mementos as well? Well then, let's begin the match. Ever place this golden mantle upon your shoulders, done it with pride. Come, lightning metamorph for lightning metamorphosis gold promotion. Aya. Well, got knowledge, but it's only a little bit. Thank you for today. I look forward to our next ma next one. What's the smell did you get a new perfume? It's nice. Yeah, it's a new fall fragrance. It's supposed to be mysterious like the Phantom Thieves. I thought I'd wear it to show my support while they're out there taking down an evil comparison. A show of support, huh? I could no post a photo online if all the fan merch I'm amazed. Maybe they'll be motivated by how my passionate the fans are. Oh shit, so many messages. 14 days left, huh? Well, this one is... Go away. Go away. Sorry if this is sudden. Sorry to text you other loot. There's something I really appreciate your insight. I'll text week three person. Well, this is gonna go up, huh? Do I have plans? We've done all we can. Now it's wait. Come on. What you up to? In the hallway something comes up. Okay. Maruki goes up, neither Makoto nor Ryuji goes up, Takemi goes up, or Takemi doesn't go up. Ah, Shit. I thought Makoto would go up, wait. Makoto... Like, what do I get with Makoto next? I'm past all the like basic ones now. But you can deepen your friendship. Ooh. Okay. Fad of factorization? Allows you to see Null, Replay, Repel, and Drain when highlighting a target in battle. Isn't that really good? Hey, yo, ain't that really good, actually? Raise the chance of flow succeeding. Ah, um. uh, soon accounts precedent. Dude, shadow factorization. That's really good, no? Actually, now to think about it. Hey, do you know? Do you have time? Some time to talk about Echo's boyfriend? Fuck it, sure. Thank Thanks, you. well then, let's step inside the student council, uh, council room. <sighs> Aiko's boyfriend, Sukasa, has been sending me a lot of texts recently. His days and nights are revered, reversed due to his, uh, his work, so he often sends me a good morning late at night. Does Aiko know about this? I'm not sure. I'd definitely tell Aiko if he asked me on a date. But for now, things are generally pretty normal. Most of the is like, how are you, BF? Hope you had a great day today. <laughs> Do you think the relationship could actually be serious? Why well, I was biased to think that all he wants from Aqua is some money. I mean, I don't know. I, it's definitely suspicious, but that's maybe just my personality. That doesn't mesh with him. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. 
Yes. I mean, it does sound like a TV show. A lying host that tricks women into depth, then forces them to sell their bodies. But those kinds of things exist in reality as well. Immoral hosts, human trafficking rings. My father even mentioned to me about gangs of men that took spe uh, specifically for de uh, depressed women in Shinjuku. They take advantage of the loneliness those girls feel to force them into horribly abusive situations. And after ensuring the girls are buried in crippling death, they make them sell their bodies to pay it off. There are other ways to force the girls into this as well. Blackmail, illegal migration. There are countless victim schemes like that. Countless gangs as well. My father was going after a particularly notorious one when... When he... Died. In the course of his investigation, he was hit by an errant truck. The impact killed him instantly. At first it was thought to be an accident, but at the funeral I overheard my father's supervisor speaking with my sister. He was saying my father had likely been assassinated. They suspected that the gang he was investigating hired the driver. Well, who was their leader? I don't know, the driver died on impact as well, but apparently they found drugs in his bloodstream. Either way, that gang had been pushed back into the shadows thanks to the Shinjuku cleanup operation. I'm not sure any of that would have happened if not for the incident with my father. He's a noble man. He truly was, wasn't he? I wish I could be a little more like him myself, instead I've just been hesitant. That's actually why my sister became a prosecutor to begin with. She couldn't stand by and watch as evil prevailed over justice. That passion undoubtedly came from her father. Our mother passed away many years back, so when father was killed he had to survive on her own. The responsibility, the pressure and and that all fell on my sister. Because of that, she can't help but talk down on on her father at times. She has, death is no different than surrender. Or oh, really. But I still look up to him. I was often lonely because of how much time he spent at work. But seeing him tirelessly pursue one case after the next was nothing sort of in, short of incredible. That was how my father chose to live his life, trying to bring justice and order to the world around him. I mean, it's admirable. Yes. Come to think of it, there was something he used to say to me all the time. The most important part of your life is how you choose to live it. Hmm. That's, 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 that's pretty big. How have I chosen to live? And more importantly, how do I want to live? You can figure that out now. I see. Now you're right, I can still change my path going forward. To be honest, I've been determined to follow the path of my sister laid for me. After my father's death, I wanted to lighten the burden on her as much as I possibly could. Oh, we were supposed to be talking about Eiko here. Sorry for going off topic. It's whatever. Actually... I've never actually talked to anyone about my father. It's such a painful memory to look back on. But I feel comfortable discussing it with you, and beyond that, I think I understand my life a little Thank bit better now. Much. Thank you. Hmm. This one is crazy. All right. Eiko gloating again. Maybe I'll like skip college and just get married to Kass instead. I guess she's using how she wants to live too, as long as she's sure she's sure she's felt she'll be happy. Why not message her? You serious about that or something? Wanna have a double wedding? <laughs> I can't even begin to think about the merits at this point in my life. Kick. By the way, can can you keep pretending to be my boyfriend for a bit longer? That's the best method I have for keeping tabs on Icon Tsukasa. Danny, thanks for listening to me today. I'll let you know if anything urgent comes up. Alright then. <laughs> hey, do you have time right now? Sorry for venting so much uh, before. I just wanted to talk about Aiko, but I got a little bit off topic. Thanks for this, for still pretending to be my boyfriend too. I don't trust Aiko's boyfriend yet, so I can we keep this up until I can make a call one way or the other? What the fuck? Hello, Simp MC. Of course. Thanks. I'm counting you. Let's see. I'm coming as a good boyfriend you can be. I'll talk to you later. What the fuck? Giga Simp. Ah, you're back. Okay. The ADP situation is a lot tougher than I thought. I don't know what to do. Can we talk about it? Okay. That will go up. 
But thank you, my kind of sad really stuck in my head for some reason. So I've been thinking over a lot of things. Do you have any time to be able to tell something? I'm thirsty for info. Okay, we have multiple right now, okay. So 3 zero doesn't go up. Mishima will go up. I finish Mishima. Shihaya and Oya go up. I feel like finishing off Mishima... It's a play. Oh, you would. Wrong one. Where is you? Here. I think Salvation Wish is really good. We might as well. I think. I, I mean. You know, sure, 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 sure. Let's finish off Mishima. That's fine. Although. I have 11 of both. Ah, uh, I don't know. What the fuck is this? Hello? Excuse me, do you have time? Free time as you got up. How about a date with me for 6,000 yen an hour? You can see. A rental girlfriend? I've never heard of it. We provide pseudo romantic moments. Of course, the relationship only exists in a moment. No matter how serious it feels, don't go any further than that. If I was talking to myself, please forget that I said anything. I guess 6,000 yen is a bit much for a kid. Well, here we go. Pants is blowing up. So did you request I ask you to do? Thanks. For some reason I can't forget what Akima said to me. By the way, I want to talk to you about something. Are you free? Yeah. I just want to relax a bit. Let's head over to the park. You know, you know I've, been th I've been thinking about what Akima kun said to me. Oh, it's oh shit! It's the oh yeah. How I've changed. For some reason, I couldn't bring myself to run away back when I saved him. So, I was thinking why that may have been. Honestly, I was pretty desperate at the time, so I don't remember much. But in the back of my head, I was thinking what you would do in that situation. I mean, you put yourself on the line to stop Kamoshida, and probably other villains too. So, I thought there had to be something I could do myself. Yeah. <laughs> I was only acting out of fear though. You know... I've always wanted to change. I wanted to go from the dull nobody everyone messes with to the famous world-renowned hero. But you helped me realize something important. That's heroes not... aren't heroes because they're famous. It's because they fight for other people. Yeah, exactly. It's by doing good stuff. Looking back on it, what I really wanted to change was the weak me. The me on the volleyball team who let wrongdoing go unpunished. Even though I knew it was unjust. Yeah. The cowardly me who looked the other way when people I knew were in need of help. Tell me the truth. I only changed because you stole my heart, right? We did not. Nobody stole your heart. Huh? You mean I didn't have a change of heart? What? <sighs> no, it really was you. You changed my heart. Well, all this time I've been looking up to the Phantom Thieves, pretending to be a collaborator, and now I'm finally able to stop pretending. Truth be told, I had given up. I accepted that I was a zero, that my existence was meaningless. But I've learned. Oh. I may not be able to change the world, but I can change myself. Whether I sulk about my inability to do anything, or hold my head high and look to the future, my perception shapes the boundaries of my world. It all comes down to what's inside my heart. I might still mess up every so often, but as long as you're here, I'll be able to stand up again. So, I may not be the best person around, but you can feel free to rely on me at least sometimes. And sometimes. No matter what the world Som says, sometimes. I'll be rooting for you. Just like you were for me. Goddamn. Then he won't betray me when we fuck up with Okamura. He won't betray us when we eventually fuck up now. You had has turned into into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and breaketh the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the moon, granting thee infinite power. Okay. 
I all. I was, yeah, I was completely in sync, but uh, you know. All right. Max moon rank. All right. We can now fuse sand sandal sandal fawn. You know what? I'm going to find you an awesome request. That's all I can really do for you right now. But I'm working on that documentary too. I even plan on making it into a book someday. I bet anyone who reads about the Phantom Thieves would find the hidden courage within themselves. Maybe that means I can use that book to change people's hearts. Make it a bestseller. All right, I'm on it. Oh, but before that, I'm hungry. Come on, grab a bite to eat on the way home. Maybe a buffet? Wait, no, we should save that for after I get all my book royalties. Dude, I feel like... <laughs> you better be looking forward to it. I have a question, by the way. Does this guy have multiple voice actors in Royal? I swear he has... I swear he sounded different on Hawaii. I swear. Hey. I am so... Sh I am so sure about that. Tonight I'll be taking the Phantom Diamond, the legendary gentleman of Thief Arsene. It's hard to I not idolize him. He's preeminent pre in our field. Oh. Still got time to read. Let's go a little further. Oh yeah, by the way, I heard something about Persona 6 supposedly being as much of a jump from Persona 4 to Persona 5. as, Or Persona 6 is going to be as big of a jump from Persona 5 as Persona 3 to... From Persona 4 to Persona 5. I don't know how big that jump is though. Finish the book. Neat. Oh. Finish reading The Great Thief. Arson always thought that his pursuers lead him by the nose. They're so cool. <laughs> Triple. Not up yet. I don't know if that's huge, what to say. Hey oh, well, shit. Teach. Hmm. There's a lot of students here at this hour. It's refreshing to make the work commute at a different time every now and then. Only late? Uh -huh. Ah, you caught me. On my way to work today, I ran into these old ladies carrying some heavy luggage, three of them in fact, so I was offering to help carry their things, but when my back then my back made this sound that that it shouldn't I make. Know. And have you heard a news from Roshisawa son? I'm so <laughs> happy for us, it makes me feel like doing my best too. Of course I say that as I'm running late. Uh, well hey. We all need to switch it up every now and then. Let's do our best for today. <laughs> he says as he's just late. I skipped the breakfast, so now I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? Totem pole? It's so cold, I just love watching people try to eat it. You know, these people who can eat it without fa uh, falling over, I'd, be, I'd never be able to do that. Mm. Eating a totem pole without falling over? I wonder why they call it a, call it a totem pole. Probably the way it looks? And... Well, what does it look like? You didn't really think about that, did you? Mm, eating without falling over might be able to improve your efficiency. Nah. Oh, that's useless. I already have maxed. <laughs> maxed proficiency. Long, long, long ago. Very long ago, actually. Oh, have you ever heard. thought of fo your phone went off but nothing actually happened? In it seems so many of us have experienced that term has been created for it. The English name for the particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Would anyone like to tell me what that stands for? I need an answer. Let's hear it. What is this phenomenon called? In English, PVS. Um, Let's remember what she said together. PVS referring to when you mistakenly think your phone is going off. What's the P? Phone? No, Phantom, 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 Phantom. Right. I think Phantom is as you're mentioning. Next is V, which is part of the uh, Phantom vibration. Yeah, that's it. When your phone buzzes and you say it's vibrating. The last S, so if you have Phantom vibration so far. Phantom vibration. Syndrome? This is it. Good. Phantom vibration syndrome. Okay. You're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you. Your uh, contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. This is an affliction that can only affect the modern society where being connected 24/7 is a commonplace. Nice going. Okay. Still not five. When I was a student, I'd get all worked up waiting for my SO, so call me at, at night. Nowadays, people complain if you don't re reply to a text you just, you just saw. Kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. Hmm. I think it'll ever get to a point where we'll be able to read each other's minds. I'll pass on that. Thanks. 
Well, you no, know, that's not impossible, probably, at some point. Let's see here. But why do you two have to show up at the same time, you bastards? Let's see here. What do you, what do you have? And your chance we stand. Okay, well. I mean, it's all right. Live painting allows you to use card duplication, card creation on the spot. Ooh. And it, I mean, it's all right. Let's uh, here. I mean, I really want Sweden to go fucking up. Hello. Oh. What shall we do? <sighs> Let's see. Probably just Ryuji. Yeah. Probably just Ryuji. <laughs> How? What for today? I mean, okay, I think I'm gonna finish today and then save and then I will be done for today. I mean, I have to do Kasumi, she's not around like as much anymore. But Futaba is still at fucking one! I'm kind of feeling anxious so I came to the side of the bank. Man, what the fuck? I only free time I managed to get permission to practice in school gym. I was thinking we could do some training. Does that sound okay? Oh wait, I don't have a... fuck. Faith. Don't have a faith. Hey, inmate. The inmate you wish fusion. Well, I just get a faith, I guess. Finished, you'd like to read read here. Wait, where's faith? Where the fuck is it? Faith? Hello, there. Phoenix, okay, that's fine. First you will draw then accept this such done already. What? It is time, inmate. Okay. Kasumi. Oh wait, let's just answer the Yes. Hello. Oh. Sorry, my phone has been hacked now. It's just let me shut off. It just looks like it's okay now. See you. Oh, but you don't want. Uh, do you want? Uh, but do you want to get some food in the cafeteria first? I'll go ahead and grab us some seats first. I'll be waiting for you in the cafeteria. Senpai. Sorry, I called you out here so suddenly. Since our talk, I've been trying to think of things be uh, be besides gymnastics that I'm really invested in, and I figured something out. It's. It's this. Making bento? Yes. You really need to re regulate your diet in gymnastics, so I've been making my own food a lot. And so, since I also wanted to thank you, I made your bento. So anyway. It's actually my first time cooking for someone else besides my family, but I figured this would definitely help me get my confidence back. I made it specifically with your body type in mind and knowing how much you exercise. Do you want it? I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> Looks good. The chicken eggs are help you with fatigue. There are some beans in there too, and it's a brown rice. Weight control is important for gymna gymnasts, but we also need to make sure we've got energy and stamina too. So high protein, low fat is usually what we go for. We need iron to maintain stamina and vitamin B for energy. 
Wait, I'm getting all focused on the gymnastics part again. Well, anyway. This looks good. Jesus, that's a lot. Is that all for you? Of course, I'll need every last grain of rice. Why do you look so skeptical? I guess it might look like a lot, but this is actually a little less than my usual. I've done the math on the propellers, I'll burn all of this off at practice. So. Before you know it. This is... It's familiar flavor, but it doesn't match the food. I keep trying different parts, but it all tastes like the same thing. Something very similar, familiar. Uh. Okay, your eyes are glazing over. Tastes like... Oh, I thought that you get your attention, that's the best part. I figured too much flavoring might be bad for you, so I only went with light seasoning. Was it too light, excuse me? Hmm. That, yeah, that's flavor I was going for. I was trying to decide how to season these, but I figured everyone likes curry, so I decided to go with maximum curry flavoring. <laughs> I'm sorry, were, were you not a fan of that flavor? Oh wait, maybe you prefer the super spicy ones. Not exactly. I'm so sorry. I got some fine... I'll go get some kind of con condiment to change the flavor once I fix it, I'm sure that you'll enjoy it more. Once I get mayonnaise, it's fine! Calm down, relax. No, but... I'm enjoying this, it's fine. Oh, but... Relax. Thank you, no, you should eat it. Dude, relax! Thank you for the meal. Delicious, thank you for completely finishing your meal. I'm sorry it didn't turn out perfectly. I came up with the idea of making bento so I can decide on the flavor. But uh, either way, I'm really sorry. It's fine! So great when I present it to Why do I feel like there's no good option here? You could try again! Thank you so much! Next time I'll ask you what you like before I try anything too crazy. I'll go buy the super spice. Dude, I'm not- I didn't say that I like super spice. <laughs> like you're always helping me find a way forward. If I didn't have you, I'd let my failures get to me and end up in some big pessimistic spiral again. Maybe this kind of confidence can help me figure out who I really am. Maybe... Anyway, I suppose all I can do is keep moving forward. I hope we can keep helping each other with improve. Wait, what did this give me? Nothing. I mean, it's only five. All right. So there's only two more. So it's not that difficult. I've well, gotten all your nutrients. It's time for your next phase. I don't don't mean to be too many, but I'm going to train you even harder than before. Oh, I get the HP and SP, right? All right. Oh, I get HP. Maybe some other time. And they top for the oh, we can again sometime. I mean that's fine. I don't remember what four Okay, but the rank four was something uh, though, I remember. Back. Things are getting really crazy online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Another day passes that I don't hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This fervor may be too extreme, this is dangerous, Omen. We could face great danger if anyone managed to discover our true identities. Don't scare us like that. Ain't no, ain't no way somebody's gonna figure that out. Either way, this excitement has definitely piqued this public, uh, the public's interest in front of thieves. We need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones who sneak around? Don't make sense. Let's do it. Well, Ryuji, you fucking cocksucker! I know that in my future, I'm gonna be sitting in a holding cell, getting fucking after having been tortured. I'm working today, so please request me. I'm in the middle of work, so I'll be working later there. Uh, let's see here. Kawakami is available. Ifemi is available. None of those. Are, a catch is available. I went them up to Ryuji, right? I'm not sure. I'm gonna check. Triple check. Pretty sure. What shall we do? Yeah, I did. What okay. Do? Okay. Well, catch is six. Hmm. 
key for me is seven. And she goes decreases turn delay to zero, allowing you to instantly escape battle. Ooh. Well, I mean, it's not amazing. This one was really good, but. It's not that good. I mean, I guess I just go a catchy. I know Hifumi will go up. I go. Uh, no, Shihaya will go up. I know Oya will go up. So. I have a lot during the night. Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. I can go and fucking sell the rest of the. This. Also, I should get another box. Hey, hey. Uh, so, I mean, it's one. Was any of that anything? Old Gilly, no. That's nah, not better. I mean, I don't know if anything of this does anything. I don't believe so. Good evening. I actually have a quite a bit to do. I'm waiting for someone right now, in fact. But I'll let you know once I have a little more time. Until then, our battles will have to wait. Oh, really now? Oh, wait. Have I upped him to the point where I'm actually limited by story progression? Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess he's maxed then. Wait, what? I have a star. Wait, oh, well then I don't have as much to do in the evening. It's only Hifumi then. Good evening. Sorry, this for school trip. The weather was really nice here. It's still hot in Japan. I'm sorry if I'm not in the mood for match right now. I can teach you Shogi right now. I can't teach you Shogi right, or rather, from now on. I'm at a checkmate right now. My only option is to concede, but I can't give it up. I'm not sure what my next move is after this checkmate. If him seems troubled, if my knowledge was at erudite level, I might be able to show if him my next move. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm limited by knowledge. I. Uh, your. Kidding with me, bro. I don't have anyone to hang out with. A catch he decides all of a sudden that nah, bro, we can't hang out anymore. Hifumi is like, nah, shit, sorry, your IQ is below 90. You're too stupid. What is there to do? Is there anything that I have not had the option of doing that seems like a good play to do? I guess, wait, knowledge. I could boost my knowledge and get it up. Oh. What shall we do? Luck reading. Let's improve my knowledge. Now. Knowledge. Ah, shit. 
Okay, then. Mm -hmm. To the cinema. Wow. Almost time for the movie start. Let's grab a seat. So right, it's those two still. I feel like I learned more about how money works. Wasn't this supposed to be about dreams? I feel like I learned more about society and economy. It's still not enough. Much credit. Let's go home. Knowledge to five is like the most difficult one, man. I didn't expect to need... Knowledge five. When I when is President ok Okumura gonna get that down and beg for forgiveness? As soon as they they get it done, the better it is for society. We're counting on your fantasy, don't let us down. Those politicians of Okumura both deserve to find punishment. Oh, this place is sold out. Fantasy is merged too. When I went to buy presents for my grandchild the other day, they had a Phantom Thieves custom on sale. I'd spell the end of this country if, these, if, if kids started wanting to become more like Phantom Thieves. You're already in your second year of high school, you should ha have a clear vision of your future. If you're looking for safety and stability, a civil servant is a good option. Hey Anderson. Why don't you try? I bet you all think that civil service is all office work, but the fishermen of, Na the fishermen of Na Nagarawa are actually civil servants as well, so tell me which sector they belong to. Cultural affairs? Hmm. Memorize the answer is Imperial Household Agency. The cormorants, fishermen of Nagarawa, are officially used by the Imperial Household. The fishermen are granted spots on the Imperial Household Agency's board of ceremony. ceremony. That said, you can't break into this industry even if you wanted to, since it's a hereditary occupation. If you want a government job, try for a spot in diet, though. Diet, though some may w say that's hereditary too. Fed up with politicians these days. Isn't there anyone who seriously wants to improve this country? Hmm. Oh yeah, they said on the news that the cabinet's approval rating went down again. They're on the complete opposite of us. One, our popularity and approval have been going through the roof. Holy shit, we're really setting us up for a really big fall, huh? I'll just add this. Okay. 